But isn't the government's push for renewable energy something that we should welcome, even if claims of global warming turn out to be untrue, given that it will foster the economy, create jobs? The claims about energy are a complete joke. I mean, let's look at environmentalist claims about energy. So there's the, the first thing you have to recognize is that environmentalism as a movement opposes every single form of energy that actually supplies us with power today. Fossil fuels make up about 86% of, of uh, the world's energy production. Uh, another 6% comes from nuclear, which environmentalists you know, ha have opposed for decades. Another 6% comes from hydroelectricity, which you know, environmentalists have opposed even longer than they've been against nuclear. One of the first big, you know, back in, in the 19-teens, John Muir, you know, the founder of the Sierra Club, uh, was trying to rouse protests against the construction of a dam near Yosem a hydroelectric dam near Yosemite. This is one of the first, you know, so uh, uh, issues that environmentalists took on. Now, if you add all those numbers up, that's 98% of the world's energy. Um, so you can't say that you are in favor of, a, of an energy revolution, of transforming the whole world's economy, and 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 come out against what supplies essentially all of the world's energy today, unless you have, unless you really know what you're doing, unless you have a plan for how you're going to do this. So let's look at whether they really have a plan. First of all, they're going to they're going to do this based on the remaining two percent. You know, the solar energy, uh, windmills, uh, geothermal energy, and so on. Okay. Now, there's a reason these sources are. Uh, barely utilized today, and the reason is their practical limitations. Um, these are sources, if you look at sunlight and wind and so on, these are they, 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 uh, these sources compared to things like fossil fuels and nuclear, these sources have a, an extremely low power density. So there, there's a lot of energy you know, in the sunlight coming from the earth, but it's spread out over half the surface of the earth. So to collect and concentrate the, the energy in those sources, you have to build out on a, on a huge scale. You have to take, you know, to, uh, to replace one, you know, nuclear plant that generates, say, 1,000 megawatts of electricity, you have to take roughly on the order of like 1,000 windmills and spread them out over 100,000 acres to get the same amount of energy. So you're talking about a massive, massive infrastructure project to, I mean, first of all, abandon all of our, our generating capacity that we have today, which is worth trillions of dollars, and, and instead convert to using these sources which, um, you know, which because they have this incredibly low power density, it's going to take a huge amount of, you know, windmills and solar farms and all this sort of thing to use that energy. Um, so, you know, pe people like Al Gore will put forward these energy plans, and they'll say we're going to use this much wind and this much solar. But if you look at the physics and the economics of trying to switch to renewable energy, and they say it's going to create jobs, I mean, these plans are completely delusional. I mean, will they create jobs? Yeah, I mean, if the government creates a program where they're going to take money from other possible productive uses and put it into windmills and solar farms, sure, that'll create jobs. You can pay people to dig holes and fill them back in again. Those are, those are jobs, but they're not, uh, it's not, it's not a productive use of, of wealth or resources in the economy. Um, but I think the, the, the biggest thing, the, the most important and, and revealing fact that uh, shows the true environmentalist attitude towards energy is the fact that even when it comes to these um, wind farms and, and, and solar energy and so on, uh, they're not even in favor of those. And you see this when you look at all these examples of environmentalist opposition to, you know, solar plants in the Mojave Desert. You know, there's, there's all these projects that are planned for the Mojave Desert, and um, environmentalist groups are protesting uh, this green energy because they say that it's going to destroy the pristine desert ecosystem. Or, you know, take wind. There's this uh, Cape Wind project in Nantucket Sound. This is, they're going to build, they're going to build 130 
uh, wind turbines offshore in Nantucket Sound. And you know, this has been tied up in the, in the approval process for something like eight years now um, because of environmentalist opposition. Um, so, uh, you know, the idea that this is about creating an energy revolution and, you know, creating a booming green economy, I mean, that is just a complete masquerade. This is a, a concerted campaign to stop us from using energy, um, regardless of the horrific consequences that, that would have for human life. 